okay? Uh, these consist of horseshoe crabs in one group, uh, and it also includes another group called arachnids, which are your spiders, your ticks, your mites, and scorpions. Uh, if you have an aversion to spiders and creepy crawly stuff and stuff like that, we are going to be having some pictures in here, so just be forewarned, but they're good. It's, it's just good information, okay? So here's a spider, and you can see the jointed appendages, and we'll talk about these structure right here and their eyes right there. He's cute. I think he looks cute, okay? And, you know, spiders are harmless to humans except for a few species. We'll talk about that later, too. This is a tick, okay? So this tick right here has not um, fed, okay? This tick has just finished feeding. And as you can see, um, yeah, those are the legs right there. So those are these things. Um, yeah, so that... Uh, that, that's a pretty big size difference. If you guys are familiar with ticks, you know they can spread Lyme disease, which can be bad for humans. And this little guy is also um, is an arachnid as well. This is a chigger. And what these guys will do, um, they will attach themselves to humans and animals just the way ticks do and they'll burrow inside you. Uh, they cause extremely painful welts. Uh, I got bit by one when I was five years old on the back of my neck and it was extremely painful. Your scorpion. Okay, so got the scorpion here. And one unique thing about scorpions is that People go looking for them at nighttime because that's when they're active and they use black lights because these guys glow in the dark. All right, so most Chelis Ray have four pairs of walking legs, okay? And, um, you know, four pairs of walking legs, one or two body sections. Usually the head and the thorax are fused together, so it's a supple thorax, and then the abdomen. They'll have a... a a pair of appendages that are in front of the um, walking legs, and those are um, called penny palps. Okay, so here are the walking legs, and as you can see, four pairs, so four times two is eight. And these two little structures, so yeah, here, walk at, let me get this. There we go. All right, so we got four pairs of walking legs one, two, three, four. That's eight legs. And then these structures right here, okay, so these little structures right here are called pedipalps, okay? And pedipalps are uh, structures that chelicerates use to eat, to mate, and they'll use them also for sensory protection. And you'll see spiders do this all the time. They'll use them to feel things, okay? They have simple eyes, okay? So simple eyes. These are very simple eyes, not compound, okay? Um, they have unique structures called book lungs, and essentially that's just where the tissue, uh, they're thin, and they're just kind of stacked on top of each other, and they look like pages in a book, okay? Spiders will also have um, malphigian tubal system, okay? And... Um, it allows them to get rid of nitrogen containing waste without losing water. So it's important for that. And spiders are also unique because they contain spinnerets, which are used to help spin their web. Okay. Um, the silk is um, extremely durable and strong, and lab scientists have not been able to recreate it um, successfully. So it's interesting. Uh, they are, uh, they reproduce externally and uh, mostly aquatic ones will reproduce externally. Terrestrial chelicerates will reproduce through internal fertilization. All right, so sorry. Here is a picture of a spider, typical spider. And these are the petty helps right here. You can see the fangs at the end of them. That's what they use to inject poison into their victims.
Okay. And technically all spiders are venomous. Okay. Not poison. Uh, it's venom. And all spiders are venomous, but not all of them are harmful to humans. Okay. The venom is strictly used to um, immobilize their prey. Well, here's your basic anatomy of a spider. Both lungs are located here. Uh, as you can see, they're joined to the appendages. The pedipalps right here. Okay. The fang is located here. Okay. Eyes are right there. They have their brain, cephalothorax, the abdomen, stuff like that. The spinnerets are located at the end right over here. And if you don't like spiders too much, uh, this diagram may be more to your liking. Um, okay. Uh, but I will warn you that if you try to put nope for all the structures or answer nope for all the structures on your test, that will not work. Okay. Um, I would prefer the actual scientific names. Okay. All right. So, um, Interesting thing about chelicera is they can actually be beneficial, a lot more beneficial than harmful, okay? Um, spiders keep populations of insects down. Uh, if spiders didn't exist, then insects would pretty much overtake the planet. Uh, horseshoe crabs are interesting because their blood is extremely valuable. Uh, it is, it's $60,000 for one gallon of horseshoe blood and it's blue because of the copper in their blood, okay? Um, why do we need horseshoe crown blood? Because it is actually being used to help detect um, bacteria and potential infections inside people. Um, <clears throat> and people are like, well, how's that? Where it's like, well, they catch about 600,000 horseshoe, cra horseshoe crabs a year, drain about 30% of their blood, and then they release them. 30% of them don't survive, um, but we don't know the long-term effects, so we have to be careful with that. But again, we're having...